so today in this video I'm going to be doing a half up half down quick weave and these are the things you're going to need you're going to need a stocking cap and you're going to need any type of you know protective glue or anything you do to lay down your hair your Levi because you know mine Ooh. you're going to need a comb for parting and good parting at that so the tips are very good for that you also gonna need the bundles for I use two bundles. Um, I would prefer you to use three, but I only use two. You're also gonna need some hair glue, and then you're gonna need the got to be be spray glue, scissors, and a blow dryer. So that's what I'm talking about basically on this part here. Y'all, I was doing a lot of talking during the video, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a voiceover. So basically what I did was I started by taking down my hair and just scratching through it because it needed some washing. And so that's what I did. I washed that hair, y'all. I washed that hair. That hair need to be washed. Oh, baby. Look at that. Just rough. Y'all look at this bag. Look how I'm finna pull out this bag. How is that part straight? But the beginning of my hair is just, ah. Uh, it looking like who did it and why? Okay, so y'all, I'm finna show y'all the products that I use to wash my hair. I use the Deep Moisture Repinish. That makes your hair clean. It cleans your hair two times better than regular shampoo or conditioner. And then the shampoo I use, it's just some sleek and shampoo. That just helps my hair get soft. So that's what I use to do my hair. I do have the two sets to them, but I also use them together. And then I showed you guys how I do my water and what I do with it. So at this part, I already didn't blow dry my hair out. Now I'm parting to make the line crease so I can have the part where I have the bundles and the part where I have the ponytail. So at this part, you just see me putting it in the ponytail so I can braid my hair down at the back and also comb it out so I can make sure everything is completely dry. So I'm going to part my hair into two parts. I'm just going to braid two braids. So one on the left and one on the right. And then I'm going to put it up. I'm going to stop talking right here so y'all can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to get back with y'all. Okay, so after I finished putting up the two braids at the back, I think I'm going to spin around and show you what I did. If not, I'm going to put the cap on. And I'm actually going to use two caps. That's more protective than using one cap because even if you do use Got To Be Scoop, the, the spray, or if you use anything else and spread on there, the glue is possible to get through the net because the cap is more like... It's see-through and it got like tiny holes through it so the glue is able to still get through your hair and to be protective you know you just want to use a cap and two at that so now I'm just gonna cut um, holes into the side where my ear is you're gonna see me once I do that part Oh my god, y'all, y'all know what happened. I thought I was recording the whole time, but guess what? I wasn't. So we're going to start all the way over. So basically, y'all, at this point, I'm just spraying the got to be glue spray all over my hair. And if y'all know how to do this part, by all means, go ahead, y'all. Go to the end of the video. See how I did that ponytail. Because I know y'all be looking just for that ponytail. But guess what? I ain't even finna tell. Y'all going to see at the end what I did. <laughs> y'all going to see. 
But yeah, yeah, I'm just spraying this all over my, the back of my hair. And I'm going to do this for like a minute and 30 minutes just to make sure I got it all over the head and in the right places. So once the glue is put onto my hair, it is not stuck in my hair or it's not onto my hair that where it's breaking my hair. I'm now going to use the blow dryer and blow dry this out for about a minute, not that long. About a minute and 30 seconds. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Gonna get myself looking right. Stop playing. Look at this. Y'all, so at this point, I'm finna measure the bundles to see how they fit on my head. And remember, when y'all are measuring bundles, do ear to ear. But yes, ma'am, look at them bundles. Look how they, yes, yes, ma'am. If you're not using them bundles, what are you doing? <coughs> but as I talked about, yes, I'm finna just measure the bundles ear to ear. And you're gonna do this all the way around your head, y'all. If y'all don't do this, one side can be full, one side can be just not full enough it won't look right you have to go in and add different parts of hair and touch it up to make it look good so at this point right now y'all i'm just gluing down the bundles to put onto my hair and as you're gonna see i'm gonna make sure i do this ear to ear after i put it on to my head so y'all can see this part here and i'm also going to make sure every time i press down the bundle i blow dry it right behind it just to make sure it's more secure and that if i was to comb it out or something the bundles won't start to lift or anything so i recommend y'all guys to do that every time y'all put down the bundle you know just to make sure y'all blow it out blow dry it out to make sure it's looking good and it's secure so i'm gonna do that for every single bundle that i do Y'all, I realized that I had something on my ear like that for free spray. For free spray. Y'all, forgive me, y'all. I suck at doing these. But I had something that got to be glue spray on my ear, y'all. And it crusted up like some real crust, like snot crust, y'all. I was like, wow. And I was like, look at my face. Look how I look. I look like a monkey. My ears was all crunched up and stuff. But yeah, y'all. Y'all gonna repeat the step the whole time through your head. So, hope y'all guys watch. So I kind of zoomed up on this part right here. I just went straight to the part where I was cutting off the cap and y'all can see me bobby pinning down the hair and I also put it in a ponytail so I can make sure that I don't cut any of the hair. So what I do is align my hand close, close, close to my scalp in the cap to make sure that I get all the SX cap that isn't supposed to be on my hair off my hair. So you're going to see me do that. I tried to turn around and show y'all but it's kind of, you know, you got to concentrate and do it at the same time so you don't cut your hair. Or the bundles or yourself you know <clears throat> so after that I went ahead and just combed out the hair y'all I was so I was so happy y'all a glue a little bit of glue had got on the hair y'all lol but yeah I went ahead and combed out the hair and I'm about to part so I can have a leave out cuz at this point I did not have a leave out only thing I did was put the bundles on cut the cap off and now i had to make myself a leave out and i had to make sure that part was clean y'all watch how clean this part finna be y'all y'all don't understand oh my god y'all watch watch this watch this watch how slow i do it too to make sure that i'm making my part clean yes y'all this takes not time but it takes consistency and it makes you gotta make sure your parts are neat like nobody gonna want to come to you if you had them uneven parts y'all no no ma'am it's not it what are you doing no 
Watch how clean that part finna be. Yes, ma'am. Y'all, let me stop talking. I need y'all to see how clean that part finna be when I put my head down. Just see. Y'all, look how happy I got. Okay, what? Clean part where? Clean part where? Clean part where? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Clean part where? Clean part where? Y'all, just look at this part. Watch when I put my head down. Watch when I put my head down. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so y'all. I'm just finna go ahead and just flat on this Levi. Cause that's where I left off at. And y'all probably like, why the hell her hair? Excuse my French. Why her hair flat in this video? But poofy in this video, y'all. It was two, two separate videos. It takes time to make these videos. It's camp through or what you got in. How you gonna put it and how you gonna structure it out on the video. But yeah, y'all. I'm finna go ahead and flat on this hair. And I'm finna use the edge bushes that I showed y'all at the beginning of the video. That I personally use on my hair. To make my hair straighten and flat. Y'all gonna be like, y'all gonna be like, poofy well, leave out well. Okay, stop playing. But yes, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do with this part. I'm gonna show y'all just a couple of videos of me flat on the hair. Me putting on the, uh, me just putting on the edge booster and then flat ironing it with the comb that I told y'all that gets my parts, baby. Looking, yes, ma'am, looking right. And have my Levi's looking, yes, who? Baby, y'all just gonna like it. So watch me do this. Watch me. Watch how straight that hair get though, y'all. Watch it. Ooh, y'all see that? And I just had to move closer. Now what? Leave out well. Watch when I take that comb and I pull it out. Y'all gonna be like, what leave out? What leave out? Stop playing. But alright, y'all. Y'all, but guess what? We almost done. We almost done. We almost done. All right, so yeah, we almost done. So basically, at this part, I already flat ironed my part so I can do my ponytail. That's why it is straight, y'all. Look at that part again. Look at that part again. Yes, well, stop playing. Okay, so y'all, I'm finna go ahead and put the edge booster on my hair. No, it is not no super hole kind of, you know, for edges or nothing, but it is suitable and good for, you know, just putting on the hair to make your hair straight. And I'm also going to use the Got To Be Glue Spray along with that, as you're going to see in the video. Basically here what I'm doing is putting the got to be goose spray and the little edge control thing that I told y'all I had. I'm just putting it all over my hair to make sure my hair is going to be sleek down once I put it in a ponytail. And by the way, it depends on what kind of ponytail you would like. You want a side, middle, left, you know, you put your hair directly where you want it. So I'm going to put mine in the middle as y'all going to see here. You can use a rubber band or a scrunchie, depending on how thick your hair is. Mine is not that thick, so I used a rubber band, but later on in the video, which I didn't show and that I didn't record, I ended up using a scrunchie, just so the hair can be wrapped around cute. Remember I told y'all it was a fail the first time, so I had to redo it off camera to make it look cute. But this is, this is the end of the video, basically, after you put the hair on.
Yeah, so what y'all gonna do on this part is separate the hair a little and pull it around so you can start off your ponytail. But like I remember, like I said in the video, y'all, the beginning of the video at that, y'all finna think it's a ponytail, but y'all finna see what it's gonna end up being because the ponytail just would not act right. It's gonna come out cute though still, y'all. At this point, this was fail number one. I did have to turn off the camera to actually get in the mirror to see what I was doing so it can come out looking good. But I'm going to show y'all just what I do, you know. I'm going to just show y'all this part at least so y'all can see what I still do to make sure my ponytails are good. So this is what I do for my ponytails, y'all. I just wrap the hair around all the way. I'm just going to keep wrapping. I know y'all can't see it like that because it's kind of hard for me to do my ponytails when I'm in the mirror or anywhere I am. I just happen to look down because I have more concentration when I'm looking down. And that's just what suits me best. So, I'm going to just keep wrapping that hair around. And once I get towards the end of that bundle, I'm going to pull out here like I did in the front and I'm going to wrap it around. But like I said, y'all, the ponytail didn't come out. It's what I expected it to be. So I ended up putting it in the bun. But it is the same extractions, the same things. You know, it's the same thing. Same route. Still got to wrap the hair around. So y'all see, I'm wrapping the little last bit of the hair. And I'm using the got to be spray glue. To wrap it all the way around y'all this would have been this would have been cute but something happened when i was wrapping the hair and it just didn't look right so i had to take it down and start over so y'all see me wrapping that hair around i'm just gonna keep wrapping that hair around see it would have been cute i just ended up seeing something that i didn't like i was like ah gotta take it out because y'all was gonna flat iron it i was gonna i was just gonna make it look cute but i was like let me keep this video going for them so i can make sure they know how at least to do a ponytail you know I got y'all. I got y'all. And I'm coming back with new videos, y'all. Don't worry. I'm coming back with good videos, bangers, pranks, hair tutorials. I'm coming back with all of that. Don't worry about it. I'm coming back with it. So, y'all, I'm going to insert some clips on how my hair came out the same day and plus the next day. Hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys like this video. If you can comment, then comment and let me know what you want to do. If not, you can follow my Instagram at the original K. It's T H A and K A A Y. Bye. Boom. And I'm back, y'all. So, y'all see what I just did? Y'all see what I just did? What is the balls finna be done? Never mind. They done now. Thanks to that edge control. Mm -hmm.